All right. Hi, everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a vector displacement map inside ZBrush ready for Maya. I was looking for this kind of thing before, but all the tutorials that I was that I found were like really I couldn't understand what what they were talking about. Or they was like too complicated. I'm gonna make it super simple. So first of all, let's import um, one geometry that I already just twitch and change here inside ZBrush. This is a simple table. Okay. Um, after you get this shape or any any model that you're doing inside ZBrush, you just need to export this as a OBJ and do the topology inside Maya or any other tricky, uh, 3D package. In this case, I already did it here, as you can see, for this table. See the UV mapping. I already got the UV mapping for that one. So then here, you just need to, in the subtool, insert any tool, this tool, uh, put import the low rest table, that's the one that I made in, C in Maya with the UV mappings, and you need to put it exactly in the same place where you want it. You can use the move tool, a quick way to to, uh, to make this easier to move it you just click alt and see the on um, top of the object and you, you can move it like as well as Maya it's easier than the other method with the arrows and all of that things so let's check looking pretty good Okay, it's on top of that. So for this case, we need to um, make the projection on top of the low res. So we're gonna stay in the low res. Let's shift click geometry to open both windows to check the divide and the projection window. And we have projection plus the divide tool. We're gonna use both simultaneously. So again, here in the low rest, using okay draw mode, you need to in the low rest check divide first projection. Now you have some details. Then sorry, you need to do the first first divide. Let's come back, divide, then projection. Then divide again, project. Anytime you project and increase the the subdivisions, it's gonna take more time. So let's divide again, project. Usually to get a pretty good result, it's around five or six subdivisions. Okay, um, divide again. We are close to um, two hundred polygons here. Uh, project. Taking longer, give it a time. Um, okay, let's check if our amount of detail is pretty good. Let's hide the low resolution. Okay, this is the low res. Look, how does it look like? Let's go to the la to the high resolution. Hide this one and show this one. Again, show this one, hide this one. Looking looking pretty good, almost the same. Okay, now we have UV mapping in this one and low poly. Well, certain amount of low poly. Uh, sorry for this. Okay, uh, go to the C plugin. And here you're gonna use the um, 
this one. Multi multi map exporter. So in this case, you're gonna export. I'm gonna export the the vector displacement map and normal map. I'm gonna choose the 2048 resolution. Flip V. Pretty much that's all. Okay, now you just need to create. Uh, click on create all the maps. It's gonna show up another window. Where you want, you just need to put the name like this place map test two because I already created a first test. Save it and it's gonna take the process. It's gonna go to every single layer, uh, sorry, subdivision. I'm gonna make the projection and um, the vector displacement map. You wanna see what is the difference between the normal map and vector displacement map let's give it a second okay it's done oh well not yet okay it's done Let's see this. One minute, three seconds. Minimize this. Okay, this is a this is a normal map. As you can see here, is what you probably know. Color gray, uh, purple, and this is the vector displacement map. It's gonna be multicolor because this one is showing where the the geometry is going up and down. And this can this map allowed overlapping. For this for that reason so good this one. So let's see how it looks like inside Maya. For this case, you just need to assign a material. Just assign the I already assigned the a Maya material. Um, in this case, choose the this another project that I'm doing. The tablet, the table. Sorry, um, you're gonna change. Oh, my computer is a little bit slow. Um, when you create the the Mia material here, you're gonna play in displacement map. You're gonna place the vector displacement, and you're gonna and you're gonna see in the viewport the result. And pretty much that's all. You in the normal map, you just need to put in the in the standard or the overall map, overall uh, bond map. Um, you're getting a pretty good result. Let me show you the render really quick. I get a, I have I have it here. So guys, I just rendered uh, this section of the table. You, as you can see here, it's completely flat. And here you can see all the details. And this is different from the normal map because this is gonna catch the light, the the shadow and the lights way way better. So I hope you like it and it's useful for you. Uh, you can leave a comment on the, the section of the comments about if you need to see another kind of tutorial or something that you're interested in, any other 3D package. Um, that's all. Uh, thank you very much.